Hey, this is Mike Muir, and you probably heard of Robert Scoble um, and the things he covers and stuff like that, but this is not about him. This is about a method that was actually named after him that's going to save you a lot of time. Watch this. So Robert came up with this great way of using what was then Google's feed reader uh, to read a lot of posts quickly and easily. Well, I, feed reader's dead, so I'm using Feedly. And so I'll come over to, I've got 311 articles, and I'm going to come over and start looking at them. Um, and I could scroll by each and every single one of them. But that's not the Scoble method. Here's the Scoble method. Click J. And you go to the next one, click J, you go to the next one, click J, you go to the next one. You're marking each one as red. So you can go, yeah, that, nope, 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 nope. Oh, well, yeah, maybe that is. Nope. Here, let's go back to that one. I hit K and it went back. That's cool if you use a feed reader. But what if you use Facebook? So you come over to Facebook and there are thousands of posts. Blah, blah, blah. Well, first of all, you should never be using Facebook like this anyway. Um, you should actually have a list and you should be using a list. But then watch this same method. I'm clicking J. I'm going to the first post. Next post. Next post. Next post. Wait, what was that one? That was a K. Does it work in Twitter? Let's go find out. You could do exactly the same thing. Here's our tweet. What? what uh huh? 13,000 followers. I'm never going to be able to keep up with this. And yes, I do use a list. But the Scoble method works on here as well. So how cool is that? If you've got the time, read every post, feel free. But if not, use a list and then use the Scoble method, that's the J or the K, to go through each post a whole lot faster. You do it on your feed reader, Twitter, and Facebook.